Good morning. Welcome to another day in a life. This one is gonna be a little bit different. The beginning of the day is gonna be a usual day for me, but uh, in the afternoon we're going to uh, grab my new gravel bike. So um, I couldn't be more excited. <laughs> So here's the only info I have about the new bike. I didn't see it. It was all taped up in the bike box. And as soon as I receive it, I just uh, ship it to the bike shop. So here's a sneak peek. Like I said, so excited to see the final product. In case you were wondering, in this bottle, there's only electrolyte and green tea. And I'm also having a coffee, so that's what I will drink during my mental training session. Today, a little bit different. We're summarizing how to skate at 10k. So I just finished reading it yesterday on my Kindle. Um, I actually was not able to control myself and I read it all the way through. It took me maybe one hour. Uh, it's not really a book. It's a publication by Niels van der Poel. So he just beat the 10k and the 5k record at the Olympic. And uh, he just released a manifesto that he calls it. And it's all about uh, his method of training from 2019 to uh, the Olympic. And it's actually, I would say, if not groundbreaking, very different. So that the big, uh, the main point of uh, his training is that he trains a lot. So um, it's in between 35 uh, to 25 hours of training per week, depending on where he is uh, in the year, how far he is from competition. But the big point is that he always does the same structures. So he has five super hard days followed by two rest days. So without uh, anything, his rest day are all about a normal life, all about not thinking about uh, skating. So um, yeah, it's super, super interesting. I really recommend it to you if that's something you think could interest you. So um, I'm like halfway through summarizing the book. So as you can see, I have the highlight from my Kindle here and I have my document that I summarize all the book here. I'm going to do the second half uh, tomorrow because I have a pretty strict time limit of 40 minutes. If not, I'll just summarize book all day and not go train. So um, that's the manifesto here. You can just download it. It's an easy read and it's just one hour of your time. And uh, I'm sure that if you're training, it's going to be uh, worth your time. So um, enjoy. We are done with the training, just over three hours at about 200 watts. We were keeping the heart rate below 60% of maximum, so a pretty easy day. Now just doing a quick heat exposure after my core session. So just staying in the hot bath about 15 to 20 minutes. During the hot bath, I'm sipping on my recovery drink and I'm also reading on my Kindle right now. I'm reading the book of uh, Michael Bisping, uh, Quitters Never Win. It's actually a very inspiring story. Michael Bisping is a UFC fighter and uh, he won the title, but uh, he was the guy who had to fight the most uh, in the UFC before uh, getting the title. So it's a great, great story of uh, never giving up, of uh, resilience and uh, hard work. Um, if you don't want to read 
the whole book actually there's a good video on the youtube i think it's called my destiny super great uh, kind of film documentary about this story and uh, if you love this i guess go grab the book so um i'll be finishing the hot exposure and after that we'll drive to the Olage to meet with Addison and then finally see uh, the new bike. So we are on our way to the bike shop. As you can see, it's already dark outside. There is light from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. right now in uh, Quebec, so you don't have uh, that much time to enjoy the sun. I received my bike yesterday and Addison went to the shop yesterday night from 9 to 12 p.m. to build a bike. It was very helpful for him to do it fast like this for me uh, because I have a bike fit uh, with Physio Velo on Monday. I'm gonna produce a very nice video to tell you how I do my bike fit. So stay tuned for that. We are at the lodge and here's the bike. Like I already said, Addison did the bike from 9 to 12, I think. Yeah, late night to the bike shop, but uh, we got it all done last night. We're ready to go back over to Guillaume and get our fit on. Yeah, it's sick, man. The ceramic speed is just gorgeous. The GRX looks so sick. I can't wait to see this out on course. This thing is going to be hot. Anything you had trouble with or? No, everything went together super easily. Uh, Factor gave us some sweet internal foam. I'm stoked that like they include those little bits and pieces because that's from a mechanic standpoint, like that's really what makes appreciation from a company a thing. Yeah. Is that, is that. So I'm excited for you to get fit so I can chop off this steer tube and plug in your brake lines. Don't forget, Adam, your brakes are not hooked up. <laughs> yeah. um, and then, so one thing I'm going to do because we haven't moved into the arrow um, like your other road bike. So I'm actually going to, instead of zip ties, don't worry, those will be gone. I'm going to heat shrink this into one long tube so it's nice and smooth and arrow. Cuts through that wind. Like nice, this. nice, 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 nice. So here is the one tool that I really want to add to my box. Well, three tools actually. Uh, these beauties right here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 3D printed titanium chain whip, lock ring tool, and a soft blow hammer. <laughs> Silka, you heard it. Oh, you, you have my address. <laughs> those, those would make my toolbox look really good. <laughs> 